YouTube. I am in southern Idaho, high above the Snake River at a place called Shoshone Falls. Now Shoshone Falls is also called the Niagara of the West. And at 212 feet in height, Shoshone Falls is actually taller than Niagara Falls. This is a beautiful setting. And there's a couple different reasons why I've made the trip out here. One, you know I love shooting waterfalls and I couldn't pass up an opportunity to come here and shoot this monster of a waterfall. But more importantly, tonight, whenever it starts to get dark, they're gonna start shining lights there on the waterfall and light it up in beautiful colors. And when I found out they were gonna be doing that, I knew I had to be here to capture it and share it with all of you. So I'm gonna spend a couple hours here at Shoshone Falls trying to capture a nice sunset shot with these beautiful waterfalls here, as well as capture those vibrant colors lighting up the falling water over Shoshone Falls. I'm glad to have you with me once again. Let's get some good photos and see how they turn out. There is an observation deck that is closer to the falls. It's a little bit lower as well. And it really, I think, would be a perfect spot to take a photo, except for one issue. The amount of mist that is coming off these falls would just create havoc on the front of a lens, especially if I were to put a neutral density filter on the front of it in order to get a slower shutter speed. So I've chosen a spot that's a little bit further away from the falls, knowing I can zoom in with my lens and try to prevent that mist from traveling up and affecting the shot by hitting the front of the lens or that neutral density filter. I think I have a good spot. In fact, I have such a good spot that I'm here about five hours before the sunset, but I'm set up and I'm not leaving because I don't want to give up this spot knowing how many people are coming here to see the lights on those falls and how many people want to be here to photograph them themselves. So I'm not giving this spot up. I'm going to sit here for five hours to get this shot to share it with you. Now, if you're a regular to this channel, first let me start by saying thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you're not a regular, now's as good a time as any to subscribe and show some love. Now back to what I was saying. If you're a regular to this channel, you know that I don't like taking photos in the middle of the day. The harsh lighting just washes out photos and just doesn't give you the desired effect. Usually there's not a lot of color in the sky. It just doesn't lend to a beautiful landscape photo but I'm breaking all the rules right now. And the reason why is because the sunlight is hitting the mist coming off of these waterfalls and creating rainbows down there. At one point I actually saw a double rainbow down there and I knew that this is a perfect opportunity to throw all my rules out the window and try to capture a unique photo. So I'm gonna wait until I see one of these rainbows pop up again. Hopefully it's gonna be a big one and go ahead and fire off a shot and hopefully get a nice shot of this beautiful Shoshone waterfalls with a double rainbow. Let's see if we can do it, huh? Let's take a minute and talk about camera settings and composition. For my composition, I have aligned the upper line of the rule of thirds right along the cliffs right there so that the sky fills the upper third. I've chosen to go wide enough that I have the cliffs on the right and the cliffs on the left as kind of bookmarks. And I'm thinking I may end up having to crop in the photo once I'm in post-processing. We'll figure that out later. I've also got a vertical rule of thirds sitting right on this rock wall right here that is kind of obscuring part of the waterfalls. And I think that lends really nice for a composition. For camera settings right now, I'm shooting at ISO 100, which I'm always trying to do because I want as clean of a photo as possible. Um, I don't have a need for a fast shutter speed right now, so ISO 100 is perfect. I'm at F22 because I wanna to try to get as much of this waterfall in focus as possible. I could focus stack, but that's just another part of post-processing that I just don't wanna be doing right now. So F22, I may get a little bit of diffraction. I'm not worried about it. These Sony lenses are so sharp as it is. The really diffraction is so hard to pick up. So F22 to get as much of this waterfall from the face of it all the way to the upper part of the Snake River there. Make sure that's all in focus. And then I'm at one one hundredth of a second. I'm underexposing right now by a third of a stop 
I think that's pretty good right now. Because I'm not using any graduated neutral density filters, I'm not using any neutral density filters, I'm actually capturing this waterfall and the force of the water just crashing down 212 feet. And I've decided to go away from trying to make it slow right now. I'm gonna have plenty of long exposure photos later whenever it starts to get darker and they start shining lights on it. So right now in the middle of the day, let's capture this photo that just, just grabs the energy that is right here on these waterfalls falls and really try to capture that with that and at the same time these rainbows down below that are just absolutely beautiful and i think really lend to a great element let's take another shot here with that beautiful rainbow right there i think it's going to turn out fantastic This beautiful cloud has moved in right over the top of the falls here, and it's just picking up that light. It's uh, really bright at the top of it, with the, which is actually difficult because I'm trying to balance the exposure to get as much detail in that cloud as possible, but still maintain detail of everything else. So I'm actually underexposing quite a bit right now because I don't want to blow that cloud out. It's just beautiful sitting up there and just capturing all that light from the setting sun. So I really just want to make sure that I capture that detail, but at the same time, capture all the detail of this incredible waterfall in front of me. Now that the lights are about to turn on in about 20 minutes, I'm gonna change my composition. I no longer need the sky in the shot and I'm gonna focus just on the waterfalls and the lights that are gonna be shining on the waterfalls because that's the centerpiece of the photo. Once I get that framed up, we'll talk a little bit about the composition that I've chosen. So as you can see, I've really zoomed in on the waterfalls here. Whenever it comes to composition, you can't see it on the video that, that comes from my camera, but prior to hooking the camera, the recorder up to the camera so you can see what I'm looking at, I have lines on the back of the camera. It's set up in a grid three by three, which is the rule of thirds. And I've placed those lines so that the top line of the rule of thirds is the very top of those lower waterfalls. The lower line of the rule of thirds is actually the base of the waterfall waterfall as it starts to fall into the water down below, right where it meets that water. And then the vertical lines I have are really kind of hitting those two main rocks that are sitting up there. So I've really kind of focused to have the rule of thirds just carving out the center right there on that lower waterfall part. But then at the same time, the vertical section is carving out those two rocks there. And you really just have a focal point that is right in the center of these falls here. And I'm really hoping whenever they get these lights turned on, that it really just just kind of helps to accentuate what I'm trying to capture for this photo. So the lights are shining on the falls now and it's really just beautiful. You can see through the camera, they're changing colors. They've got little textural patterns that they're shining up against the rocks and up against the falls and really just beautiful. We'll go ahead and take a picture here. It looks like we might get some green light here. Take a look, see how that looks. It's just just pretty just to see the light there on the waterfall that's what I came up here to photograph and I'm glad that it's actually working the, the wind died down enough just to make it enjoyable and uh, lights are good and lots of good people up here also take a picture so really turned out to be a great trip so far Well, this was an incredible trip here to Shoshone Falls. Um, just what a beautiful waterfall and, and probably one of the most powerful waterfalls I've ever seen in person and, and just the sheer volume of water that's coming. Um, I think probably the only waterfall I've seen that's quite as big and quite as much water flowing is uh, probably Yosemite Falls. I mean, that's an amazing waterfall itself, but um, just awesome to come up here and shoot this. I uh, really think I'm gonna love that shot with the rainbow in it. Um, the sunset was just beautiful. Couldn't have asked for better other than maybe some pink 
pinks and some purples, but I'm still happy with the clouds that I got and the color that I got on that shot. Um, I'm probably a little disappointed in the shots with the light show. And the reason why is there was so much mist coming off the falls and it just kind of filled the, the bowl right there where the waterfall was coming in. And, uh, and looking, reviewing the images, it looks just kind of like it's a blob. So I don't know if I got the shot that I wanted with that. I'm still glad I came here to see it. I think what really, uh, really sits with me the most is just this was kind of a resemblance of life getting back to normal. And I think we can all celebrate life getting back to normal. And I love the atmosphere here. The music's playing. The people are happy. They're out and about. They're just enjoying life. And thank God for that. I'm so happy to see that coming back. And, and uh, man, I, I just look forward to just so many great things this summer. And uh, so don't know I got the shot I want, but happy to be here, happy to be part to take in this, happy to have had the opportunity to come see it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so, and of course, ring that bell so you're notified next time I upload a video. Until then, happy shooting.